Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna install uh, FlyMake Google CPP Lint, um, Google C Style, and iEdit modes, which will add even more power to Emacs while editing C, C++ code. Let's get going. Now we're gonna add iEdit mode. Let's open our package list again, search for iEdit, hit I, hit X, and it installs iEdit immediately. iEdit has a bug in it, so we need to open our .emacs file and fix this bug. The bug is with the key binding of iEdit, at least in Mac. We define key in the global map. We have to change the key binding for iEdit mode, and I set it to control C semicolon. Uh, it's supposed to be control semicolon, but that just doesn't work. Let's restart it and then open our C++ file. Now take a look at this. This is what iEdit gives us. Go on I and hit control C semicolon. And as you type variable index, it will change all the I's into variable index. FlyMake is already a built-in package, but we're going to uh, add an enhancement to it. Uh, we're going to look for flymake-google-cpp-lint. Flymake-google-cpp-lint uh, gives us the ability to write code in Google C++ style guide. Uh, let's open our .emacs file and now we're going to write a few functions here to configure, config our flymake-google-cpp-lint. Uh, first, let's define a function that will be called uh, every time um, we start the C, C++ mode, I uh, use defun macro again, and my colon uh, flymake google init is a name that I came up with. Now, the first line is require flymake google cpp lint. It turns on flymake google cpp lint, and the second line is flymake google cpp lint load. It loads the cpp lint, and then I added hooks to C and C++ modes to call this function. In order for FlyMake Google CPP Lint to work, we need to have CPP Lint. I get out of Emacs, type CPP Lint, turns out I don't have it. So I search it with sudo pip search CPP Lint. Pip has it. So I'm going to install it sudo pip install CPP Lint. And CPP Lint is installed in this path. This is the path in op opt local library frameworks block. Now I go back to Emacs, open my .emacs file. I need to tell FlyMake Google CPP Lint where my CPP Lint Python is. And I use custom set variables in my uh, function, my FlyMake Google init function. And I, uh, I set FlyMake Google CPP Lint command to this path that I just copied from the previous screen. And then I restart Emacs. And when I start my uh, C++ file time CPP, all these red lines are where CPP Lint is telling me that there are some errors according to the Google style guide. The thing is, I cannot see what these errors are, so I need to install one more mode to see them at the cursor. Let's go to the package list, search for fly make cursor mode, and type I, type X, and now we installed it. Let's go back to our C++ file. Now when I go onto these lines, I can see what the errors are. And the errors are um, picked up according to the Google C++ style guide. And I'm just fixing them. Now at the top, I need a copyright line, and I just typed it in. FlyMake Google CPP Lint Mode has a bunch of settings. And if we install this one more package, it's called Google C Style Package, it will set these settings for us um, exactly the way that follows Google C++ Style Guide. Uh, once we install uh, Google C Style Package, we need to go to the, our .emacs file and we need to add require Google C Style and we need to add two hooks um, one for Google set C style so that the settings are all set. And then the last magic that I'm going to show you, make new line indent. Now let's go back to our C++ file. Now when I hit new line, it indents, the new line indents where it should go. Um, well, thank you for watching this. Uh, good luck with your C++ coding.
I put a link under this video to the .emacs file that we created in this video. Uh, you may need to look at it. It is important to note that the versions of these packages that I use in this video are important. I put a link also down under the video uh, for the versions, uh, the list of the versions. Uh, because with the following versions, there could be some new bugs introduced and the packages may not work as I show it in this video. Again, um, happy coding and have a great day.